seriously, I've never done anything like this before. I did quite a huge haul and I want to share with you what I have. And I also want to tell you a few of the reviews already from it because I do have some of the makeup on today. Let's get into the video. All right, your girl did some damage. This was the first time in all my years of shopping the VIB sale that I bought this much. I don't know why other than there was so much that I really wanted to review for you and there were things that were unique, I feel like. So I'm going to bring this to you in the hopes that it will help you as you shop the last couple days of the sale and maybe know what's good, what's bad. You know, the things that I decided were worth it. Maybe I think you know, I might have a little buyer's regret in the middle of there. So we're definitely going to get into that. But let me kind of, this is always hard for me to try and show you guys my shirt. I should just stand up, but I really don't have room for it. Um, anyway, this is a cute double-breasted or, you know, crossover um, shirt that is ruched. And it's ruched all down the front. So it hides your tummy. And it helps make the girls look a little bit nicer and a little bit more lifted. So I really love it. it. comes in all kinds of different colors and I love the princess type neckline that it gives right there too. So that's my thing for today. And I can list the necklace, but I can't list the earrings. These were made by a subscriber, one of you, and they're so beautiful. Love them. So I'm just going to grab here. All right. Let me tell you that I did go ahead and I got the Sol de Janeiro set. I'll make sure that I link that for you guys. It has the bum bum cream and it has the body wash, the spray, the body spray, and then an exfoliator in it. And it's the full size of the bum bum cream. And I love this stuff. I was out of that completely. I had bought the small one of their new fragrance with, I think it's a Nita, I think that's her name. Anyway, I wanted that really bad and I thought it was a really good deal because the Bum Bum Cream by itself was probably almost worth what was in here. And then I got some palettes. I really wasn't planning on getting any palettes because I don't need more palettes. However, I didn't have anything from Pat McGrath and as I was looking at it and I was looking at her prices normally, her prices are so out there and i was like well okay let me try this and see what all the hype is about now i do have this color right here just on the lid right there as the highlighting color it's a beautiful beautiful silvery pink color i really like it it's kind of a duochrome shift there oh my gosh it's so pretty and then a lot of these almost all of them are that metallic formula um I was kind of surprised at some of them. I just thought that it would be just this super duper out of this world formula. I don't feel like yet like it's the best formula that I've ever, ever seen, but I do feel like this is a great way to step into her palettes and see what you think about them. Now, the mattes are very buttery and very beautiful, but again, I don't know if I'm just being super picky because this costs so much or what? I don't know if this is going to be one of the palettes that I'm like completely head over heels with. We shall see. I got the Patrick Ta one and his packaging always gets so dirty so quick, but it came and it's broken. The little flap that goes on it is broken. So I did call customer service and they were telling me that it's out of stock. So I don't know if I'm going to get one that isn't broken or not. Um, they just want to do a refund. I was like, I don't know if I want to do a refund because then you you know, I wouldn't have one at all. And I really like this and I think they're beautiful colors. I am wearing a combination of all of these on my cheeks today. And I really love his formula. And what the customer service told me is that she feels like they will get more. So I'm hoping that before the sale's over, some of you that were just starting to shop with the Beauty Insider can snag this. This one intrigued me. I saw this one in store the other day and I was like, Oh, wait a minute. That's beautiful. And so I actually did work with this. This is from Violet Voss and this is called Vibes. And it is all the cool tones and it's got that neutral vibe to it, but it's also got a very cool vibe to it. I did wear these two right today, um, kind of in my outer V right out there and kind of really buffed them around. This I wore all over my lid today. The formula is great. If you've never had Viol Violet Voss before, her formula is really beautiful. I have have not seen this on anybody's um, VIB recommendations. I don't know why, but I guess because there's so much higher end, so much holiday stuff out, but this is beautiful. And I'm really excited about it for being a cool toned palette for you all and me. I'm one of those people that loves a cool toned palette. And then I caved. 
I was not going to get this Natasha Denona retro palette. I was so dead set against it. I wasn't going to do it at all, but I did get it. And I worked with it a little bit today. Great quality as always. I really have been enjoying her other palettes. I have the glam one. That's the one I'm enjoying more than anything. But this was great. It was a beautiful palette. And this is all right up my alleys with the alleys. Alley with the burgundies and the pinks and kind of the taupey brown colors. So I'm excited to have this one too. Yeah, I, I caved. I definitely caved. <laughs> I also got this and I need your help. If any of you have used this, this is the... Uh, I don't even know how to say this. I don't want to say it wrong. I think it's called Oribe. Oribe. There it is. It's called Oribe. Dry Texturizing Spray. You guys know that I'm so bad with names. Okay, this I used this morning. Smells divine. Beautiful fragrance to it. I absolutely love the fragrance to it. But I don't know how to use it. Do you just like, you know, spritz it under there and get some texture? Or is it a hairspray? Or I don't know. I mean, it smells great, but... I went back to my camera this morning. I need help, guys. So let me know what, you know, how you use this it, as I put it into my hair. It just feels super lightweight and it doesn't feel like anything's getting weighed down. It just felt really good. So I'm okay with it. I'm liking it. I don't know if I need to be using it a specific way to get the best out of it. Maybe I'll watch a tutorial on it. Somebody on YouTube's got a tutorial on it. I know that. Everybody, it seems like, was talking about this Tatcha primer, and it's the Silky Mist Dewy Primer. What is it called? The Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. Everybody was talking about it, and I had to try it, and I tried it this morning, and I can tell you right now that it's beautiful. <laughs> I didn't want to like it. I really, I just seriously did not want to like it because it's expensive and you know, not everybody can get that kind of thing, but I'm going to be on the hunt for a dupe for this. This is why I got this because everybody was talking about it, but it is, it's super featherweight, um, no oil in it. It's just goes on my skin and it just it was gliding across and then it didn't feel like there was any silicone on there, although I could feel that too. But the consistency of it is so nice. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. It's so nice. It just completely glides across the skin. It sinks into the skin, not like your regular silicone like Smashbox, the Photo Ready. It's not like that. It's just... I can't even describe it. And I haven't tried the other two. The other one is the Kiss the Kiss You Lip Mask. That's cute. And then the other one is the Water Cream. I've heard good things about these, but I hadn't tried them. Great way to try it because you get to try all these things with probably just paying the price for this product right here. So I'm excited about that. Oh goodness, I skipped over one palette. Okay, the Rose Quartz Palette from Huda Beauty. Seriously, I got this the day before the sale. What happened was I put my order in almost immediately when it dropped, not when it dropped on uh, the app, which I should have, but when it dropped and I wanted to put it in that video of recommendations before all this. This is my dream palette and I kid you not, this is one of the palettes that if I could probably curate a palette, I might put a couple deeper purples in there that were mattes or mediums, but this is the most beautiful lilac dream to me. And I've worked and worked with this palette. It's incredible. It has so many different textures. And I will tell you that a couple of them do have a little bit of glitter, but it's not like her other palettes where the glitter was chunky. These glitters are very fine. And I feel like you could wear those to a special occasion and they would be beautiful. Um, I I'm in love with it. I'm really seriously in love with it. I think that it's one of the palettes that she's done the best so far. And I, if you have been thinking about it, but you've been thinking, well, I have all these colors in my collection. That's exactly what I thought too, but I have not been able to put this down. So I have had this since last Thursday, so a week. And wow, it's just gorgeous. As a matter of fact, I don't know if you can even see that or not, but that is like a trichrome Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, this is the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. I wore this yesterday. I did like it. It is a very light coverage so that you know you really can't build it up very much. It got to maybe a medium coverage, but it's super thin and it's beautiful. It evens out your skin tone 
and I'm going to drop that on myself. I have done that before where it just drops out of the container onto me, which is so cute. And it's really thin and it's very blendable. It's water-like. It has a beautiful consistency and turned out to be a really good color, which I'm shocked at, but definitely one of those ones that I think I'm going to really enjoy, but that's just my first time using it. So don't know 100% there. And same thing with the one I have on today, which is the Shiseido. This is the Synchro Skin. And yeah, that's what I have on my skin today. And I can tell you right now, this is a, a medium to full coverage, depending on how you build it up. And it is laying gorgeous on my skin. Uh, between this and the Tatcha, I was looking at my skin going, ooh, I think I'm in love. I think I'm in a lot of love here. And so this one is beautiful. And then I got another one from LYS and I haven't been able to try this one yet. Cool bottle though. So I will report to you later on that one and let you know uh, whether or not that's something that I like. But of the three, these two, the LYS and the Beauty Blender one, those are the most affordable that I got. And then this one. Now I do have Dior coming and I'm thinking about getting the Armani Luminous Silk before that it's done. Would any of you like me to review that so that I can tell you what it's about? Let me know in the comments whether or not that's something that you want me to do. Okay, this is something that I did just on a whim because I saw Mandy Lee. She had tried this and she really liked it. Now keep in mind, Mandy's in her 30s. I think, you know, mid to late 30s, somewhere in there. This is called the Wink Stamp and it's a stamped liner. So I thought, you know what? I'm 53 and I have never been able to do a liner, a, a wing liner, ever. I just can't. So each side has the winged liner tip on it, and you're probably not going to be able to see that very well. But each side goes, you know, one way or the other. Okay, I tried this this morning. I did great on this side. You guys know I have my palsy in my hands. That's my disability. But I did great on this side. So you just stamp. So let me see if I can do this without wrecking everything. So you just stamp. Let me figure this out. Okay, you stamp. And your little wing is right there, right? Okay, so I did great on the right side, but on the left side, my finger, my hand wiggled and it went bloop, and it was just like, oh man. But with practice, this might work. It comes with a liner as well. So you have the liner to be able to do the rest of your eyes. I'm not crazy about this because the tip of it is quite fat. And so I couldn't get quite a precision line across my top lashes which i like to go as tight as possible because i don't want to take any of that valuable lid space away so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to stamp that there and then across the rest of your eye you put the liner right forgive my drawings because i can't do it <laughs> anywhere but on my own eye anyway so it's very long lasting i liked that but i think with a little practice i'm going to like this i I don't know. I, I want to say, yes, it's going to be great. But at the same time, I'm not 100% sure because I have wrinkles out there and I have that little flap and this skin is really flappy right out here. So I don't know if it's going to be something that's going to be wonderful for me or not. But so far, I'm liking it. Have any of you tried this? Let me know if you've tried it and if you're liking it or if it's just something that I should just go, oh, give it up. It's already gone, done, past your time. All right, Makeup by Cheryl. That girl made me buy so much stuff. Between her and Stephanie Marie, Risa, and uh, Pretty Over 50, Kimberly, and Julia Adams, between those gals, every time I'd watch a video, I was like, okay, add to cart, add to cart. And I was like, Pfft. anyway, this is the coolest thing. This is from Beauty Blender. It's called the Power Pocket Puff. This was awesome. I put on my powder with this today and it pressed in my powder and it picked up the extra that was underneath my eyes and wowzy. Okay, first of all, it's got a pocket where you can put your finger. If you want to put one finger in there, you can. I was able to get two fingers in there, but it really just got up in there and it was great because of my shaking hands too. Sorry about the dog. If you've seen makeup artists like Painted by Spencer, he always uses a puff as he's working. I know that Wayne Goss always uses a puff as he's working. And I have never been able to make those big puffs work, but boy, this little thing, I love it. And inside of it is like a sponge type thing. So I think if you wanted to, you could probably put on your foundation with this. I'm going to try, but it was beautiful for powder and I was able to press in a tiny, tiny 
minuscule amount of powder but it really just pressed it in and it made everything look beautiful and it was like it was pressing it in without moving anything and yeah this is awesome i'm so glad i I saw that and I'm going to get another one while the sale's on. I swore that I was not going to do lips because lips products, I'm like lip pour. I, that is such sarcasm. I have so many lip products, but I did buy these earlier, except for this one. I bought these earlier in the, the month of October, I guess. And I did that video for you guys, but I do want to quickly mention these. If you're wondering about the sale for the 30% off for the Sephora collection, these right here are some absolutely beautiful. And I don't wear matte lip, right? I never wear a matte lip. I always love my gloss on top, although I don't have any gloss today, but I do like these. They're beautiful. I will... I have no idea what these colors are because honestly the print is so little that i have to get my son to come and say and read it because even with my glasses it doesn't work for me to read it so they're beautiful they go across your lips they dry down but not really harsh i should tell you they're just they're really pretty and so there's the three colors right there they're really beautiful they have some amazing colors they must have probably i would say they probably have 50 or more colors of those and then of course the rouge gel lip liners that i've been telling you about forever i want to show you the nudist i have a new appreciation for the nudist because if you're a fair girl and you cannot find a cool toned liner for a nude lip this is the one that's called the nudist it works perfectly and then this one is called dress to the 90s it's a brown this is the one that i have on today this is a, a lighter brown, so I like that too. These are creamy and I love wearing them as lipsticks, but they're great as lip liners and I've talked about them a million times. And then the Color Wink Gel Eyeliner and I have this one in the brown. I love this because the tip is very fine. Sorry, the tip is very fine and it just glides as I shake it just glides and it has great color in it as far as saturation and they stay They're just so good So I just wanted to mention a few things from the sephora line so that you could pick them up if you wanted to and if you're wondering about it Mr. Wayne Goss made me buy this <laughs> I know that all of you are know what I'm talking about that watch him because this is the drunk elephant TLC glycolic body lotion And he talked about how this is so good because you get so much for your face I did use this for the first time last night and I will say I felt the tingle I felt that glycolic acid doing its job So I'm excited to use this but i'm not sure that I will be able to use this every single night I probably will switch because as I get older my skin gets more and more sensitive so I probably will do that every other night, but so far so good and you get a ton I mean, honestly, there's eight fluid ounces in here and normally one fluid ounce is what we get for our cream for our face So yeah, I I love mr. Ross for that kind of stuff makeup by mario. This one was kimberly Oh pretty over 50. She's the one that made me do this one. This is his um Blush powder blush and this is in poppy pink and I saw her do this on her haul just day before yesterday or yesterday and it's so pretty oh my goodness that pink is so pretty and she said i don't have anything like that in my collection i'm like i don't either and so i thought i'm going to pick that up so this is going to be all kinds of fun to play with and i've heard so many good things about makeup by mario's products and i wanted to get more but that's the one that i got then for milk makeup makeup i did get the hydro Grip eye primer and this is supposed to be the under eye primer as well. This feels very silicone-y And so putting it underneath here. I'm not sure if it's going to make anything crease so far so good I used this today. It was the first time I really used it So I don't know if it's going to make anything crease It's supposed to make your eye makeup more vibrant today I was kind of wearing a little bit of a smoky eye more than I normally wear So I really wanted to play up the eye makeup so that I could figure out whether or not this is going to do Do what it's supposed to do, which is hold it on make it look smoother and make it look brighter So i'll report back to you but so far, it didn't impress me as much as my Anastasia Beverly Hills, but it might work really good to keep everything on underneath too. We shall see on that one as well. Lisa J, she talked, had a whole whole entire video on this and it's the Lancome Tint Idol. I don't know if it's, I'm saying it, I'm probably saying it wrong, but it's the Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. This is what I have on underneath my eyes today and it is 
incredible. Absolutely incredible. I love it. It it covers. It's so thin. It's absolutely the thinnest I've ever seen on any sort of a concealer that didn't dry me the heck out. That it wasn't like going on there and just shriveling up like a prune and it just covered like a dream. And the other thing is I didn't have to set it down with a powder. I mean, I did a tiny bit at the end, but I mean, I did on purpose, but I didn't need to. And that's what got me, I was like, ooh. And I love the Dior Forever Skin Concealer and I think I like this more. Just the thinness of it, how easy it was to blend across my eye and it was not, I can't even explain it to you very much other than coverage was phenomenal. It's not creasing. It looks beautiful. It was super easy to blend. That is one that I would say that if you're somebody that has spent your life savings on concealers, that you might really like this and really like to try it. So maybe give that one a try. It's really, really beautiful. Light Beauty has this cute little tin of their Millennial Pinks. And these are some great pinks. Usually when they say pinks, I'm always finding that, and it comes in this, it's so cute. There's the tin. Sorry, I should have shown you that. It has some beautiful pinks in it. I'm just shocked. Now they are the minis, but these pinks are so pretty. And I have that stain from Sephora on there, but I wanna show you. These are some gorgeous, gorgeous pinks. That's a mauve tone, just so pretty. And then the next one is, and I don't have the names because we would be here all day. That's like a neutral pink, the next one. These are really beautiful. And I did buy a full size of the Bite Beauty and so I could compare it. And the it's exactly the same formula. It's so beautiful. Look at these beautiful pink tones. And I'm so glad for the first time in a very, very long time, I found a gift set that it doesn't have any oranges in it. No oranges, no reds. It's all pink tones. I was so excited about that because I'm a pink girl. I love pink and these are beautiful. So here's the full size one of the bite size. I think this is called pastille. These are beautiful. They last on your lips a long time. Pastille is a more of a deepened medium pink. They're just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Love these. I'm really excited about them. And then from Makeup Forever is this gorgeous lipstick. This is so cool how they've done this lipstick. And I really like that too. And I can't see. Hello. This is called Rouge Artist. And this is 150 Inspiring Petal. It's just a petal pink. And it's a lot like that color from Makeup by Mario, but it's super hydrating. I just, I think that's so pretty. I'll put a little bit on. Beautiful beautiful lipstick. I'm just really, really loving that. And then rounding out this swatch party is a nude stick. I'd never tried these before either. And these, this is fun. So you get a sharpener lid type thing in there, which I'm assuming you can put on the other end and just have it all the time. So you got the sharpener in there to be able to sharpen the nude stick. And then this one says magnetic matte lip color. I don't know why it's called magnetic, but this one is blossom. And this is really beautiful as well. I have no room anywhere. Let's do it right here. It's really pretty. So very much like the other ones, only this one has a tiny bit of peach in it, which I thought would be really pretty for me because I don't normally buy anything with peach in it, but it's matte and it seems to really cling to the lips as well. And what's fun is that tint has a mirror in it, which I think is kind of kind of special. I really wanted to try the formula on these because I'd heard some good things about them too. I think that is the last of it in the bag. I would hope that it is. That's a huge haul, I know. Please, I am not saying that you need to buy anything, but it's fun to see and fun to decide if there are things that you've been thinking about. Maybe some of this stuff is something that you've wanted to try. So let me know in the comment section what you decided to pick up, if anything. Um, don't forget that in my last video, I did do a get ready that had in it the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand and it was a giveaway. So you might wanna go back and watch that if you haven't already, just to give you a little bit of a wink, wink, go over and watch that video if you didn't watch that one. So thanks so much for being with me today and I appreciate all of your time. I hope everybody is doing really well and I'll catch you all in my very next video. Love you to bits. Bye-bye, my friends.